do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Drew So I'll be back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, no, I'm saying, did y'all see the sweat pits when I just lifted my hand up? I just got back from the gym, I ain't even for the old y'all, man. I had a great, nice little chest workout, your boy's big body swole, you know what I'm saying? But, we finna make some content for y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm reacting to another one of the Dahar, man. Y'all was flaming me in the comments for saying his name right. I don't know how to pronounce it. Y'all said one of the letters is is like silent. I think it's the H, so it's Dar Man, or is it Har Man? I don't know. We, we reacted to one of this man, man in his videos, you know what I'm saying? Cashier humiliates poor mother. Now, I personally hate when other people look down at other people. Like, if you're at a restaurant and you treat your waiter bad, you would dub in my eyes. If you're treating your way to bed just because they helping you, they're not working for you, they, they're helping you, then you're just a horrible person because you see them as beneath you. Just, I don't like none of that, you feel me? I hate when people treat like janitors worse than, or they, they treat janitors differently than they treat a regular person, or, well, not, I'm saying a regular person like they're different. You know what I'm saying though? Like, they wouldn't treat a billionaire the same way they would treat the janitor, right? I believe in treating everybody the same exact way. I'd be, so, I'd be nice to everybody, waitress, janitors, Freaking, what else do people consider like a, a, a something else? I don't know, like customer service people. I already hate customer service people. I start the conversation off mad night. So I just hate when people be like, I don't know, rude to just whatever. But today we're going to be watching the cashier being rude or humiliating a poor mother. Now this video was given to me by, let me find the Instagram, at J underscore only queen. This is finally a person with a regular freaking Instagram name. So shout out J underscore only queen for this video suggestion. I appreciate that. If you want me to react to anything in specific, hit me over there on Instagram at Jupiter underscore. Now for react to it, I shout you out. If you tell me to give you a special shout out, like do a backflip and shout your name out or shout your name out and tell your mother that you love her or something, just let me know. I'll do a special shout out for you because I'm going to help you if you help me. You know how else you can help me though? Jewel.com. I'll see my two to third free bun up six so 50. Dollar. Just copy some super sexy Jurex. Some new designs is coming out. I'm very excited for them. Should I give y'all a sneak peek? Nah, nah, I'm gonna wait. Actually, sneak peek right there. And I'll say, check it out. It's pretty fire. Y'all finna love it. Uh, I got two new designs coming. I'm gonna just show y'all one though. But without further ado, let's just hop right into this. Like the video now for more reaction videos. Like the video because if you love your mama, like the video right now because I just freaking asked you to like the video. And you're a nice person. You know what I'm saying? Remember what I was saying about being nice? Yeah, just like the video. It takes literally two seconds. I would appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Let's just get right into this though. Okay, here we Mom? go. Mom, I'm hungry. hungry. Can you have a hot dog? No. I'm sorry. You want a glizzy, little girl? No, you're too young for a glizzy. Out of all the things you chose as a glizzy, you better ask for a hamburger next time. I only have enough for groceries. But it's my birthday. I don't care. I mean, happy birthday. My fault. Okay. Come on. Excuse me, sir. How much for a hot dog? $3. Okay. That's pretty expensive for a glizzy. What Do is you he? accept WIC cards? <sighs> Come on, lady. I don't take food stamps. I don't uh, have money. I'll just slap you bald-headed idiot inside the neck. Do you think I could have one for $2? Maybe you have a smaller one? What do I look like? Government assistant? Take a hike. Did y'all see the big mole on the back of his head or was it just me? I'm just I'm just saying he ugly. I know this is like this is never mind, just be quiet. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be sorry. I promise I'll make you something to eat as soon as we get home, okay? Okay. Don't book a You know that's out. freaking sad. I I work so hard now so my kids can have whatever the heck they want to have. If they want ten hot dogs, they can have ten hot dogs, of course. They're not finna get no 10 hot dogs when you're gonna be fine with just one. But I would hate to be in this position where my kid wants something and I'm, and I'm not able to provide it for them. It's different from not wanting to give them everything just cause like you don't wanna give your kids everything because you want them to be able to understand like everything in life is not free. But at the same time, you don't wanna be in that place where you can't, like you have no option to give them. You feel me? Like I always wanna have the option to get what my kids want. If my kids want a Lamborghini, I wanna have the option to buy them a Lamborghini. Does that mean I'm gonna buy them a Lamborghini? Probably freaking not, but I just want the option to. Them knowing that I can do it if I wanted to. 
but I'm not gonna do it. Cause I don't want to. Does that sound bad? I don't freaking know. That's so sad. I'll give her the $3, man. Little help. We just as broke as you, my boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. you we just as broke as you. We should be on the corner back in two, my boy. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wish I could. To be honest, you've got more than we've got. I'm sorry to hear that. By the way, congratulations. Thank you. I hope you have a really nice day. Hello. Um, oh, she finna be she finna be a brain in the butt. I can tell by her attitude she's gonna be a pain in the butt. I'm gonna hate this girl by the end of this freaking video. Promise Mira, you. Do you accept for carts? Oh, great. You're one of those. Yeah, you getting slapped in your big nose, Ashley right. Tisdale wannabe. Your you pimple know. on the top of your forehead looking stupid. I'm finna flame your ugly sofa. No, I'm not gonna flame her. This is just, uh, I don't know. Oh, how frustrating it is that I have to work while you get to sit at home relaxing on your couch eating free food with my tax dollars. It's not like- You make $7 an hour. You barely pay taxes. You ain't feeding nobody. You pay the government $30 out of your paycheck. You're broke. You don't feed nobody, you freaking idiot. That at all. Yeah, you don't know what he's been through. Exactly, <laughs> stupid. Never mind. You should have stayed, stayed quiet. The answer is yes, we do accept those. Let me guess. Strawberry? <laughs> and here's your change. Thanks so much. Sure. I wish you would slam my food like that. I slam your head into the counter, little girl. It's 1298. Uh the cake mix too, please? I'll have to ring that up separately. What? Why is that? <laughs> don't act like you don't know. You know you can't use your wit card for luxury food items like cake. I'm sorry, it's my first time using this card. Uh-huh. How much is it? Maybe I can pay cash. I hate her ugly style. She pissing me off. Cause it really be people like this in the frickin' world. I'm trying not to pause it so much, but it really be like this in the world. People, it really be people like this in the frickin' world and they press me off. I'll buy your whole story, you frickin' Ashley Tis though. Wanna be big nosed idiot? It's 210. Shoot. Um, yeah, you're, you're gonna have to put it back. Mm. What? No. You promised we'd have cake for my birthday. I know, honey, and I promise you that. <coughs> Here. <laughs> no, really. They just need the dollar. You don't got. She got two dollars. All righty. She just need the other dollar. She don't need the five dollars, my boy. I see what you're trying to do, but she only needs the one dollar. Oh my gosh. Um, she need ten cents to be um, honest. But I appreciate your offer so much. No, I insist. I insist. No, she doesn't. Need no, it shut up. She already gets her. Shut the heck up. Shut but up. She's pregnant. She has a daughter. I just feel bad. Why do you think she's pregnant? She's trying to get more- Cause she gets men. You get no male, male nothing. You freaking idiot. You girl, I mean men don't like you. That's all I'm saying. Men do not like you. She's getting clapped, you not. You don't even know what it feels like to get clapped. Only clap you know is, is, is. You can't even clap your cheeks, you, you, you nothing. Sisters. <sighs> you know. You really shouldn't judge someone before you get to know them. Facts. Maybe if you weren't so lazy and got a job, you hey. could need my tax dollars to support you. You pay three dollars in taxes. I even had my own business. She did. You see, for the past several years, my husband and I ran our own restaurant. It was always packed with customers and business was booming. Even though the hours were long, we loved every minute of it. Don't tell me the dad died, bro, because then I'm really finna slap Ashley Tisdale. When we found out we were pregnant, it couldn't have been better timing. We were both so excited to be having our second child. It felt like all of our dreams were finally coming true. Okay. And then one day, I decided to stay home and watch Isabella while my husband went to work. He gave me a kiss goodbye and said he'd be home early. Except 
Oh, no. He never made it home at all. A police officer came to the door and said my Carlos had gotten no, into a car No, man, no! And no, he didn't survive. No, no, not Carlos! Come on, man! Not the little girl. Oh, bro, come on, man. That's All so sad. Cry. The little girl ain't even crying. Cry, little girl, come on. With my husband now gone, and me being pregnant, there was no way I could run the restaurant all by myself. So, I had no choice but to close it down. That's so freaking sad. Why would they put an ad in the middle of the sad story? You, you inconsiderate us. And turn in the key. I tried my best to get by. I downgraded our apartment. And I cut our cost as much as I could. That's so sad. But when I can no longer afford to feed my daughter, that's when I decided to ask for help. Man. So you see, I did have a job and a husband. More than you, Ashley Tisdale. I lost I'm a prideful woman. It wasn't easy for me to ask the government for assistance. <laughs> but I would do anything. For my daughter. To make sure my daughter. I would do anything for my daughter. It's so bad you had to go through all It that. is bad. I am so sorry. I'm sorry too. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> man, I'm sorry. Why are you laughing for, you freaking? Oh my days, you're pissing me off. You're pissing me off, eh? You're pissing me off, lady. I swear on everything. <laughs> you are, oh, man. Good story, lady. Bruh, you yeah, big forehead. You know, if you do decide to get a job, maybe you should be a Ah, <sighs> You should be a dumpster. That's story. what you should be. Is there everything I just shared with you? Look, I don't have time for sob stories. Unlike you, I have to work. So do you want the cake or not? No. Please, take this. Give her the one dollar, she don't need five. I won't take no for an answer. Just, it's the one dollar. She don't need five. Trust me, she don't need five. It's just one dollar. She just need one dollar. <laughs> Let me get you your chain. Oh no, I'll buy your daughter a hot dog. Oh, say less. We got the glizzy incoming. Incoming glizzy. A, a birthday present for me. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't even know what to say. Say thank you. You don't need to say anything. Are you ready, honey, to eat your strawberry cake? I can't wait. <laughs> Cynthia? Cynthia? Oh my god. Hi. Hey. I'm Monica. It's good to see you. Here's your change. And your food stamp card. Have a great day. Thanks. And thank you. Truly from the bottom of my heart. And happy birthday. Yeah, happy thank birthday you. to you too. Let's go, honey. It was nice to see you, Monica. Monica, we go to the store back. I can tell Monica is a good woman. She's a great melanin queen that will help these other, this lady with her child and the baby in her stomach get the restaurant back or something. Uh, Something's gonna happen. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Cynthia, do you have a minute? Janet Jackson, let them talk. I to ask you something. Uh, sure, what's up? You know, after you left, my next tenant only lasted about six months. No one knows how to run a restaurant like you. You're right. Uh, that's sweet, thank you. <laughs> Our old customers still come by asking about you. You know, I wanted to ask you, have you ever thought about, I don't know, coming back? Please give me the job. I appreciate the offer, but... Um, I have no money. A lot has changed since back then. I don't have uh, my husband as a partner anymore. So, um, it would just be too complicated, but thank you. Maybe I could partner with you. Oh, now she's trying to do the clappers. 50-50. Say yes. Just say yes. Thank you. 
I wouldn't have the money to put up 50% and we're barely getting by, but really I do appreciate it. No. I will pay for all There we go, Janet Jackson. Now we're talking. Come on. We'll hire a manager to run the operations so you don't have to be on your feet all day. Yeah. All you need to do is take care of the customers. And we will take care of the rest. Yeah. So what do you say? I say yes to that. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm saying. Mom, you have to do it. Exactly, so let's Mom. Let's talk about how much you want to be at the restaurant. And it's not like you're working anyways. <laughs> <laughs> She's homeless. You see. That was not funny. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's perfect timing for everyone. So what do you say? Um, say yes! Ain't nothing to think about. Uh, what the heck? Alright, let's do it. Isabella and Cynthia are so excited to open up their restaurant together. Who's talking? That was the stupidest voice I heard in my life. Olivia uh, and Cynthia are so excited to uh, open their restaurant together. What the heck is you saying, bro? A few weeks later. A few weeks later. They celebrate their grand reopening. Their grand reopening. Cynthia's old customers are so happy she's back and come to show their support. Before long, business was booming. The tables were always full and the people were always, always happy. happy. There we go. Cynthia was running a very successful restaurant again. With a little bit of help, of course. Cynthia and Isabella even managed to get their old place back. Yeah. Everything was falling right back into place. R.I.P. that man Carlos, though. Or Carlton, whatever the heck his name was. Place. The girls and the baby. Ooh. Couldn't be happier. And then one day, Cynthia comes back to the convenience store. You're one of those, huh? What do you mean? Yeah, man, I'm one of those. You again, man. You. By the, please tell me Cynthia goes back there and buys the whole thing and just fires her. Please tell me she buys the whole thing and fires her. I'm begging you right now, man. Someone who lives off of welfare. That's enough. That is enough. Please don't listen to her. Excuse me, I don't know who you think you are coming in here like this. Your boss. You, know you can take your items. They're on me. Really? Yeah. Huh, thank you so much. You're welcome. And uh, congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Why are you acting like you own the place? Because I do, I mother effer. You know what I'm saying? Because I do, mother effer. I bought the whole thing, man. I bought it. It's mine now. I do own the place. Well, my partner and I. Mm. Boom shakalaka. Let's go. What? I don't understand. You wouldn't understand because you're stupid. You're dumb. How did this happen? Well, I got my bag just up. Just like she said. Wait a minute. The homeless man is a big baller now. The homeless man turned to Jeff Bezos real quick. Hold on, man. You really shouldn't judge somebody before you get to know. Shut up, man. I mean, keep hey. talking, bro. Thanks. You're wrong. The old man giving a little girl a glizzy? Oh, wait a minute, R. Kelly. <laughs> and I have changed. Oh, that's okay. You keep it. Seriously? Thanks. Wait, aren't you? Roger, the head of operations of our restaurant. And now, Talk to him. the manager of the store. Talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be out of your mind. There's no way I'll be reporting to a home. You won't be reporting to him. Don't worry about it. You're fired. <laughs> You fired Ashley Tisdale, big nose. Homeless <laughs> man. No, that's okay. You don't have to because you're fired. I'm calling this whole show, but I'm calling everything that's happening, man. Get out Are my you store. Are serious? Goof. Mm -hmm. Big old goofball. Get out my store, bro. I always hated this job anyway. And this job hated you, lady. Yeah, get out my face, love. Bye. Bye. You hear me? Boom. <laughs> so. How did that feel? I'm not gonna lie. That felt, felt great. great. Come on, man. <laughs> Can we have strawberry cake tonight? Nobody wants that nastiness. We broke. I mean, we rich now, baby. We rich now. I get that job custom made. You know what I'm saying? Happy mother effing birthday. You feel me? You know what? Why don't we have chocolate too? <gasps> yeah! <laughs> 
What are we going to eat? Man, man, oh man, oh man. That was some quality content right there, man. That little girl, I mean, no, the Ashley Tisdale, the blonde, the blondie, it made me absolutely furious. And I called it in the beginning of the whole thing that she would make me mad. And I knew it. You know what I'm saying? I really hate it's really people out there like that. And that's what really pisses me off. But that's the end of the video, man. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash the like button. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you want me to react to anything else, hit me over there on Instagram, add you on the story. You feel me? Before you did, but y'all know the vibe. You have to do it. What am I what am I doing? You know what you have to do. Drew.com, I say my two third free metal say up fifty dollars. So I'm saying like it's a good deal. You give me money, I give you Drew Rags. You actually getting the better end of the deal if we if we being honest here. So that's the end of the video. Let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. Oh I'm saying. Let me know if you ever had an experience like this where somebody treated you like you was less than. You no, know I'm saying I'm curious to know. Hey, drop your whole story in the comments down below. I'ma read all the comments. If it's, if it's a good story, I'ma heart the comment and stuff like that. But um yeah, that's really about it. I'ma see. Yo, C three, so fly, hop out the butterfly, wings to the sky. No, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.